You've been doing this a long, long time. <laughs> yeah. um, was there any time previously that, that made you happy or got you so happy that when you got back on the practice field with your guys during this pandemic? Well, I mean, you know, we've been out here, we've been allowed, um, it was two weeks ago, I think they finally approved us to come out and start working with the kids. And it was just, you know, it was like a weight lifted off your shoulder, you know, because we haven't seen the kids um, in person since March. You know, we've had Zoom meetings and we've met with them, you know, virtual. But as far as being around with them, we haven't had that chance. And so just getting out here and, and seeing the kids and getting them, you know, running around, even though we're kind of limited what we can do right now, it's still just good to be around the kids and it's good for the kids to be around their coaches and their teammates too. What did you miss the most about not being around the guys? Uh, being around the guys, I mean, that's just the relationship that you have with your kids. I mean, that's, the, you know, talking to talking to coaches who've been, you know, coaching for 30, 40 years, and once once they retire, they say the thing they miss is the locker room, and that's that's what you, that's what you miss. Not not necessarily the locker room per se, but the relationships that you have with the kids and just carrying on with the kids. I mean, that's what you miss. What about this team gets you excited about the the future of Manchester football? Well, yeah, I mean, it's definitely the youngest team we've had in, you know, several years, if not the youngest team. I think we only have 15 seniors. Um, you know, sometimes when you have youth, that's a good thing, especially if the youth feel like they need to prove things or, or if they want to be, you know, kind of be measured to the, the guys who have come before them. Um, really like the, the energy and the attitude that we've seen with our kids so far. Um, again, we're very limited with what we can do, so everyone's running around and flying around right now. But, um, you know, we're excited that, you know, once we keep graduating to certain levels, um, what, what this uh, team could possibly do. You mentioned also, they, I guess they have uh, maybe a little bit of swag uh, coming back. Um, how do you balance, I guess, them trying to forge ahead with their own identity and maybe them trying to surpass what previous teams had done before them. Okay. Um, you know, obviously we, we want every team to find their own identity. Um, you know, the one thing that we preach is mindset and, you know, that, that was established, you know, 22 years ago when we when we took over the program and, you know, that, that foundation was laid and, you know, you just hope that this group of kids will, will kind of find their way through it and, and find their own identity. and. Um, you know, even though we have a small number of seniors, these guys have been through some huge battles and they know what it takes to be successful and they, you know, they're going to lead by example and they're going to kind of take those young kids by the hand and say, hey, this is how we do things and this is, this is where we, what, we, what we need you to do. And, and so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just uh, it's going to be fun watching them kind of form their own identity this offseason. For the first time in a while, you know, you've always had really good stability in your coaching staff. And this year we've got some new faces, guys that have been around this area yeah. that people know, but first year here at Manchester. Mm -hmm. How has that mix worked during this pandemic and, and getting back on the practice field? Well, I mean, yeah, we've we've added some we've added some new faces to our coaching staff and we're, we're excited about the guys we've added. Uh, it, it, it seems like they've been here for years. I mean, they've jumped right in, and, and uh, it's a fairly easy place to come coach. I mean, we have a good time, and, you know, we, we preach family, and, and they're, they're part of the family. And, it, and it's been like they've always been here, and we're excited to actually get out on the field and actually start practicing. And so they can kind of put their own uh, touch on certain things and, and, and help our program be successful. Hopefully I'm not out of line with this question, but I'll ask, how optimistic are you that there will be a season late winter into the spring in 2021? Well, I'm, I'm very hopeful. I'm very hopeful that, uh, you know, that, that Virginia is going to follow up on, on the plan right now to play, to play football in February. Um, you know, our kids deserve it. Uh, you know, it's, it's something that I, I know that the kids this past spring lost their, their, their senior year and, you know, your senior year is something special in high school. And, and uh, we're, we're just hoping and praying that, that everything is going to continue to go uh, um, the way the, the science and the doctors are telling us right now, that the numbers are going down. And we have to keep on doing our part, you know, you know staying socially distanced and, and wearing a mask and whatever else they tell us to do. So hopefully, you know, again, you know, uh, I hope that my year 22 here at Manchester is going to be uh, one to remember. I know. I know we start practice February 4th. That's going to be a whole lot different than August 4th. 
and the older you get, that cold weather kind of hurts a little bit more. So, you know, <laughs> that's, that's going to be a, a big difference for me.